Today, we'll show you three stochastic trading strategies. We'll give you the specific trading rules and the back-tested performance. You can see the equity curves of the three stochastic trading strategies on the screen, so please make sure you stick to the end to get the trading rules. Before we start, what is the stochastic trading indicator? Stochastics measures the recent strength of the stock and how it trades compared to the last N days. It measures the movement and how it fares today compared to the look-back period's high and low readings. If the current price is low compared to the high-low range over the preceding N days, the reading is low and vice versa, and thus it oscillates from overbought to oversold levels. If you want to know more, please click on the link below the video. Let's go to the first stochastic trading strategy. We use a two-day value of the fast stochastic variable, and we buy the close when it hits 25 or lower. We sell on a day with strength where the close ends higher than yesterday's high. When we backtest these two trading rules on NASDAQ 100, we get a pretty stable equity curve as indicated on the screen. The average gain is 0.76% per trade, which gives you a wide margin of safety to cover slippage and commissions. Note that you're invested only 26% of the time. Let's go to the second stochastic trading strategy. We increase the look back period from two to three days and buy when the fast stochastic indicator crosses below 20. We use the same sell trigger as in the previous backtest. When we backtest the trading rules on TLT, the ETF that tracks long-term treasury bonds, we get a pretty good and linear equity curve. However, the average per trade is much lower than for equity ETFs. Let's go to our third and last of our stochastic trading strategies. We use the same trading rules as in the previous strategy, but we lower the buy threshold to 15 and backtest the ETF that tracks consumer staples, which is XLP. As expected, you get a lot fewer trades, but the average gain per trade is high at 0.76%. Max drawdown is also pretty low at only 12%, and the risk-adjusted return is high at 40% because the strategy is only invested 8% of the time. We've now shown you three stochastic trading strategies, and we hope they help you to generate trading ideas and strategies.